Good morning. Welcome to 3-Minute Manna. It is good to see you this morning. It is Jesus Tuesday where we look exclusively at the life of Jesus as he lived upon this earth. Our reading today comes from Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. Jesus says, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. One of the hardest commandments that the Lord has ever given is that we need to love our enemies. The question is, why? Why should we love them? And the first thing I would suggest is because God loves them. Verse 45 says that God makes His Son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. We love our enemies because God loves them. God's grace that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, teaching us how we ought to live our lives. We love our enemies because God loves them. That's the first thing. The second thing I might suggest is because we do not want them to remain enemies forever. And that's why we need to love them. The verse, verse 46 says, For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? The reward that we are looking for is that perhaps one day we may call them enemies no longer. The Lord does not say that we do not have enemies. This verse says we do have enemies, but we need to love them because we hope that one day we can call them our friends in the Lord. So we need to love them. That is the reward that we are looking for. That's the second thing. The third thing I might suggest is found also in verse 46. What reward have you? He says, do not even the tax collectors do the same. We're supposed to be different. When we put on Christ, when we were transformed by the renewing of our mind, as the verse says, we are supposed to be different than the rest of the world. And that includes how we treat our enemies. We do not get to hate them. We need to love them. We love them because, and our fourth point is this, because we are striving to be perfect, as the verse says. Verse 48, he says, Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. It is part of being complete. We need to make sure that there is nothing lacking in our lives. Because if this is lacking in our lives, then all may be lost. We need to strive. strive. We need to do this. We need to love our enemies so that we shall be perfect, just as our Father in heaven is perfect. We need to be holy as God is holy. We treat, others, we, we treat others as we want to be treated. And that is a scriptural principle. But also we treat others as we have been treated. Romans chapter 5 at verse 8 it says, But God demonstrates His own love toward us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Verse 10 says, For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, much more having been reconciled we shall be saved by His life. When we were the Lord's enemies, the Lord sent His Son to die for us. That's how the Lord treated His enemies. So now the question is, what are we willing to do for ours? What are we willing to do to bring our enemies to the Lord? We give ourselves for them. We give ourselves to them. We love them. We love our enemies so that one day they will be enemies no more. Hope you enjoyed this study today. God bless you. Be a blessing to those around you today. I hope to see you tomorrow morning. Thank you again for studying with us.